know how you wake up one morning and one of the most critical questions on your mind is what's the difference between grey hair and normal hair? It hasn't happened to you before. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's what's on my mind today. And I'm going to find out and you're coming with me. One of my first challenges was to find a white hair. I looked through my hairs and hooray, I found one or two. That was nice, it, like, because it was going to be a big problem. It's not like I could go out in the street and say, hey, grandma, um, I want to make a YouTube video. Can I borrow a few white hairs from your head? <laughs> and if you try that one in Africa, eh? especially in Nigeria, you'll be beaten up so fast because people will say that you want to use it to do uh, drug money or something like that. All right, I found the gray hair, you know, African hair, very rigid and spiral, but I had to get it under control and put it on a slide and look at what a black hair looks like. That is not a cream, that's part of my skin. I pulled the hair, so it came off with some of my screen and under 400 times magnification this is what the beautiful black hair looks like looks like it has scales around it it looks well made you look at this thing and you marvel at the creation you know and mind you this thing was alive like it grows you know it adds length you know well i decided to zoom it further to 1000 magnification look at what it looks like this is the hair root so when you're doing that brazilian wax thing this is why it's painful because you're pulling off part of your skin and with the naked eye you barely see this thing wow This is actually well made. I don't know who designed the human being, but a lot of things about the human being marvel me. Like designed hair. And look at how it should grow. Man, you better subscribe to this, this channel and uh, like my videos because I need to buy a better microscope and see so much details in this. But at 1000 magnification, it's, it's not easy to move around a specimen. In its small movement, the specimen has jacked off the screen. So, this is still good as it is. Uh, this is strong, steady hands and movement. Look at what the white hair looks like under 1000 magnification. I don't know why it's called the white hair because. I think this hair is developed by a loss of color like this one you could see you know traces of black <laughs> along it like here yeah go back you could see traces of black along here which means it's losing the black color and it is transforming into something different like off-white or even transparent right so it's neither gray nor white I don't know why they call it gray hair or white hair I mean it's far from gray and closer to white anyways for simplicity but this is a white hair don't say it I know what's in your mind what you're wondering now is when compared to a cobweb how does the hair size up right no well I'm, I'm going to find out and you're coming with me well i couldn't find a single strand of cobweb rather i saw a bunch of them packed together and this one is actually dusty so um I got them under the microscope and uh, look at what if you look closely you will see 
the strands that make up this all right it looks plenty here but when we compare in fact let me go to 1000 uh magnification zoom all right now this is what the cobwebs look like under 1000 magnification and uh if you look closely you see what a single strand of cobweb looks like all right but a bunch of them put together make up this and you know the scientists say that the cobweb is stronger than the relative size or uh, weight of steel like if you get steel of this size that the cobweb is actually stronger than it and when we put it beside a hair you see the size comparison and you'll be able to tell the difference and this is it this is a gray hair beside cobwebs even with a bunch of them stacked together the cobwebs seem to be like one one hundredth of the size of a hair remember this is one strand of hair on your head and the cobweb is smaller by one hundred percent no not one hundred percent Pascal get a grip um like if you take hair and pieces the hair with one special kind of knife into 100 different pieces a strand of cobweb is like one of those 100 that's what i meant <sighs> this is hard to explain <laughs> and this is made from protein from the spider all right now here is the black hair and the gray hair together under the same magnification of the microscope wow the creation the creation of the human body like this black hair at a certain age the color wears off and it becomes white or whitish who engineered it like this how did they program this I mean these are some of the questions i ask when i look at this now i try to get, get the uh, white hair black hair and cobweb under the same frame and look at what it looks like this is the white hair this is the black hair and this a uh, couple of strands of cobwebs and you can still see the difference that look the the the, the cobweb is a lot tinier than the hairs one strand of touch your hair touch your hair one strand this is one strand and the cobweb seems 100 times smaller than one strand of your hair imagine that <laughs> man this is awesome well let me leave you to enjoy some of the sights from this experiment as you touch one strand of hair on your head and you wonder how this was engineered programmed to work like this then you marvel at the beauty of nature wow well that's it for today turn on notifications subscribe share if you can and until next time, my name is Pascal Okwara. This is Subtech Nigeria. Bye for now.